Hello everyone, Earn the Worm here, and today I purchased something that I felt was really special because they no longer run these. This is a Mezco Hellboy figure. This is actually a previews exclusive. I'm not exactly sure what previews is. Some kind of store or something, I guess. Uh, we don't have any locally anyway, so I really don't know what it is. I really like this version of Hellboy, his battle damage jacket and with the horns. They're not actually making these anymore, so if you want any of these Hellboy figures, you actually have to pay quite a bit over retail. I saw some of them on eBay with still had the price tags on it that said our price, $9.99, and then they were wanting like $75 for it. Now, I didn't quite give $75 for this, but it was up there. It, they are over retail. This is the first Mezco figure I'll actually be reviewing. It's just, it's super nice. Man, I had to have one. I loved Hellboy. In my opinion, Hellboy and Hellboy 2 are probably some of the most underrated movies. Because for their time, these were just some of the greatest comic book movies ever. And Hellboy was by Dark Horse Comics, I think. And I didn't really care for the comic version of Hellboy. He had, like, horse legs and stuff. It was a little bit weird for me. Now, all that being said, it almost breaks my heart to open this. Seeing as they did not rerun these. This is an exclusive figure. But if I don't open it, then what good am I? There is a brief read-up. If you would like to read that, you can pause it and read it. Unpause it, continue with the video. And you can see here that this figure is actually from 2003 or 2004. So this figure is about 12 years old now. And you can see it is in the clamshell packaging, so there is no way to repackage it. Once it's open, it's open. The package will be discarded. Nothing else I can do. But even though it does pain me to open it, I'm now going to open this figure so we can have a closer look at it. So now I have the figure out of packaging, and man, when I cracked into that packaging, it was an overwhelming smell of new figure still in there. Even though he's 12 years old, he still had that great new shower curtain, new pool float smell, and it was just when I get a big waft of that, I'm, I'm in heaven. <laughs> I'm just weird like that. I don't know. It's just something about the smell of a new figure. I just, I can't get enough of it. I wafted him right in. He came with one accessory, and it is his gigantic pistol, the Good Samaritan. And this pistol is really nicely done. I feel like they put a little too much black wash on it. It would have been nicer if it was more metallic with a little bit of that black wash on it, but they kind of overdid it. That being said, still a just incredibly nice gun. I really like it. You can see you got the little symbol from their faction on it. Again, on this side. And one really cool thing about it, it actually breaks down. I thought that was a really neat little thing to do on such a small scale gun. I mean, they didn't have to do that. That was just a nice touch. I wasn't really into collecting when these figures come out. But man, I wish I was. I would have bought every one of these. These probably retailed originally at around, I'm going to guess around $20. They're going for more double and triple that now, but I wasn't really collecting in 2002. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a missed opportunity, but I'm super thrilled to at least have one of these in my collection. On to the figure now. He is out of the packaging. Man, this Hellboy figure, he's really big. I think he's a 7-inch scale figure, but with those horns, he's probably standing at close to 9 inches. Mezco does it. This is my first Mezco figure. And one thing I hate about cheaper figures is their head sculpts. Man, this head sculpt is just dead on. I love it. I love the, the color of the T. They got the eyes spot on in there. Even got the yellow pupil. Man, it's just, it's so well done. I wish we had smell-o-vision and you guys could smell him. Take it in. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I know, that's weird. But very nice with the paint. You know, his sideburns, his goatee. 
man, it's such a nice figure. I'm so glad that I found this and bought it. it I just, I really loved Hellboy the movie. I don't feel like Hellboy the movies got the recognition they deserved. And this one is battle damaged, and this, this jacket is made out of a really soft material. You could probably take it off. You can see here it was glued on, so a lot of that stuff has bled over on it. But I'm sure I could probably get that scraped off and, and actually remove the jacket. I'm probably not going to remove the jacket because I love this battle damage look. And you can see here he has his right hand of doom. Oh, I loved when he knocked something out with that right hand. It was just awesome. And I'm just really happy to have something for my collection to remind me of that the Hellboy movies existed, you know. There's the Hellboy tail, and his tail is actually articulated. It will spin all the way around there, so that's a nice touch. And the horns. This version, the previews version, that's what it has. It has the horns. The other ones have the filed down horns. Now, really, I wish there was some way you could unpeg these and peg in the other horns. I really like these horns because one of my favorite scenes from the movie is when he snaps off his horn and stabs Rasputin with it. That was just a really powerful scene in the movie to me. So I just, I like this figure for that reason. But I do like the more mainstream Hellboy with the uh, filed down horns because he liked to file down his horns. He thought it made him look more human, even though he is a giant red being. I love the detail in this right hand of doom. Check out all that detail. It looks just like it did in the movie. Another cool little detail is that underneath his jacket, he does have a gigantic holster for his gigantic pistol. Got a flap on it. But now I am going to get a couple poses out of him anyway. I probably won't do too many, but I am going to get a couple cool poses and scenes with him. So that's all the poses I'm going to do, and that is my review of the Mezco Previews Exclusive Hellboy Battle Damage figure. And man, in my opinion, this is just absolutely one cool figure. It makes me want to buy more figures from the line. I just wish I was collecting when these came out. You know, it's just, it's a shame some of the things you miss out on, but... You know, at least I have this guy in my collection, and he is absolutely awesome. I just, I love it. Very cool figure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this throwback review. And I was actually going to try to remove his jacket, but it is pegged in and actually glued on in certain spots, which is why you've seen it, that stuff on it. It was from where some of the glue come loose over time, I guess. So the jacket will remain. It's a cool jacket anyway. But that's all for this one, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with the videos. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.